Nobu is about to turn into a Nobu. When I walk through. And if you are new here, it is simply welcome to my channel. Guys, I am Rochelle and baby, I am wore out. So y'all, I was trying to be all different and stuff today and go to like uh, Starbucks to to edit or whatever because I just wanted like, ooh, I hope my I hope my chest ain't showing. But anyway, I just wanted like a little change of senior or whatever. But girl, it worked. So initially y'all, what I called myself doing was like, vlogging like in my i mean not vlogging i'm sorry i call myself like using my mobile office like getting in my car and editing it because it was cool this morning and then it um you know it was cool or whatever so girl y'all i was sitting in the car and i just started to bake i just started baking or whatever and so then i was like okay well let me just go on starbucks so girl i ended up in starbucks pretty much all day still have a whole bunch of editing to do so anyway girl so that's how we starting this blog off but Okay, guys, so y'all know that I absolutely positively love to share influencer tips with you guys. I love to share tips for new up and coming YouTubers with y'all. So, girl, this is this is what I did and you guys can try this or whatever, but this is working for me. So, my best friend called me and she was telling me about Poshmark and I had opened a Poshmark account a long time ago, but it wasn't to sell things. It was just to purchase stuff or whatever. I basically updated my account because, yeah, I use accounting over. I haven't used the account in over a year. So, I updated the account or whatever, but what I did this time, I actually put my YouTube channel information on there. So, I just posted a jumpsuit and then I put um, my YouTube channel. So, guys, you know what Poshmark you be getting followers, girl. You can have like 30 followers. And then next thing you know, you have 175 in a matter of like three hours or less. You just be getting, people be following you left and right. But anyway, guys, so um, I put my YouTube channel on my Poshmark and guys, it is working. Like I got a lot of subscribers. Like it's, it seemed like y'all, we just had 800 bombshells. Then we went to eight, what? 818 and now we're at like what 842 so guys um if you i think you guys should try that tip especially if you're trying to grow but of course we want to do everything with honesty and integrity my poshmark is the intent of my posh poshmark is to sell clothing as well as buy clothing but i just happen to link my youtube so yeah i'm not you know trying to pull nobody off the platform but i mean they're obviously reading my profile and they're you know following me or whatever so y'all it absolutely works so that's just a little tip or whatever so that's basically what I came back to tell y'all. Oh, probably. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just need to get, you know, finish this editing, girl, y'all. Editing be, baby, it be a whole showdown. It be a whole show, girl. If, anyway, I ain't gonna complain. Ice blew me. Tied on my wrist like I do not know what permanent is. They want me gone. All right, y'all. Okay, girl, I am back. So, y'all, I'm over here trying to get this i'm trying to get this dang on desk together girl girl y'all yesterday i don't know y'all why 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 just just why so i was at the gas station yesterday pumping my gas and i see this audi 
a Audi truck. It pulls up behind me, girl. Yeah, this truck was really nice, gorgeous truck. And the reason why I noticed it is because it's the same Audi that I want. I think it's like the Q7. I th yeah, I think it's the Q7. That's the one I want. And so, girl, that that Audi, it was clean, girl. It y'all, it was black on black on black, black rims, black. But it was like that super high gloss black, black tinted windows. It was clean. So I'm thinking that the person is just, um, you know, just waiting for the waiting behind me or whatever. So I finished pumping my gas and everything like that. Girl, so y'all, after I finished pumping my gas, you know, I get in, well, I was getting ready to get in the car, and I hear a dude like, excuse me, excuse me, can I highlight you for a minute? Can I have a minute of your time? I look back, and it's the dude in the Audi, and I'm just kind of like, so I was like, no, you can't, because my immediate thought was, so let me get this straight. You've seen the whole transaction. You waited in the car and made sure, you made absolutely 100% sure Oh, excuse me, that I was done pumping my gas and paying, well, pay, paying for the gas and pumping the gas before you you jumped out your car to say something. Baby, when I tell you, it's sad out here, y'all. It, it really, it really, really is. That happened. I would have told y'all about that yesterday, but girl, I was tired. Like, I spent the entire day editing Y'all, I did not go to bed until like 2 o'clock this morning. So, I went to bed like at 2 this morning. I woke up. Let me see. I got a phone call like at... I think I got a phone call like at 7 something this morning. Girl, y'all. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired. So, anyway, I started uploading the video literally at 2. Got a phone call that woke me up at 7 something this morning woke up check youtube girl why the video still hadn't finished uploading i'm like it shouldn't take over five hours for the video to upload so y'all the video wasn't even done uploading until like 10 30. so it was it's crazy but anyway y'all so that's what's going on with me I'm waiting for ups to bring me some some stuff that i ordered from asos i'm going to um zara sheree tv is having a uh she's having a birthday party this weekend so i am looking for a dress or i ordered two dresses um to you know see which one i want to wear to her event so we're waiting for ups all right y'all i'm back girl why this thing time i it's gonna be delivered delivered today by seven and so anyway, I do not want to leave my house because I don't want my neighbor or whoever to get my stuff because I truly believe that my neighbor or someone over there took my, my shoes that I ordered from Nordstrom's. I just don't believe that the shoes disappeared. I, I just, I can't believe that. And anyway, so y'all, last night I overheard my neighbor. Well, I didn't, I heard him talking like outside. And so, girl, y'all, he was on the phone and he was talking about, um, he was like saying stuff like, you know, she just, she just, I guess she just the type of girl, like she just looking for a good time or whatever. And the minute she stopped having a good time, she on to the next thing or whatever. She on to the next hottest thing. And he was like, you know, I'm out here, but I ain't out here like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even out here like that. And he was saying like the minute, uh, I guess, and I don't understand like he talking about the minute things got serious, but it's like, sir, how the things, how things got serious when you be having all them different girls in your house. But anyway, that's no here or there. Oh, you basically, he be having everybody, girl. He, I guess he's just the neighborhood party house. But anyway, so he was just saying like, uh, she, she is the type of chick that's like, whatever is fun or whatever is in the moment, whatever is popping, whatever is hot or who, whoever is popping, whoever is hot, that's who she going to be with. And the minute it started not being fun or it's not popping no more, she leave or whatever. And he was like, you know, I'll, I'm kind of out here, but I'm a little bit more reserved than that. I'm a little bit more reserved than that. And then um, and he was like, I guess she just didn't move on to the next thing. But anyway, y'all, he was so hurt. But I didn't know that guys talk to each other like that. Like, you know, I didn't know that those are the kind of conversations that guys are having with their other guy friends when they think that it's a safe space or they think nobody's listening but y'all he was butt hurt so i guess the girl uh hold on y'all i guess the girl um 
that he was messing with or whatever. I guess like, you know, maybe when things got too serious for her, she bounced or maybe she started feeling like, well, this ain't fun no more. He boring. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that or whatever. Um, maybe she just like, maybe she just moved on to the next dude. But baby, all I do know is your boy was in his feels, okay? And so I was like, mm-hmm. So, so they do have feelings. They actually do have feelings. Cause baby, these dudes be walking around here acting like they too cool for school. So yeah, girl, so that happened last night or whatever. <laughs> Y'all, girl, y'all, why did I just get a comment about uh, Tim from Sweetie Pie? It's, uh, she commented, hold on, y'all. So I just got a comment from JY on the last vlog talking about, uh, basically, she he was eating Miss Robbie's soul food cooking. I'm talking about what is she? She's talking about what a shame for him to be walking around with such a lady body. Maybe that's why he turned into a killer. Oh my God, y'all. All right, hey y'all. Okay, so y'all, I wanted to show y'all this really cute stuff that I got from Shein and uh, Ross. All right, so I wanted to show y'all this stuff real quick because, baby, I absolutely love it. All right, so hold on. Let me see if I can adjust the camera down a little bit so y'all can see it, girl. All right, y'all. So this um this bodysuit, guys, this bodysuit fits like a glove. I absolutely love it. It is a thong bodysuit, and y'all know I already have on the infamous. Y'all know I like to wear a thong under my thong bodysuits because I told y'all it make me a little extra snatched. So um, this bodysuit was nine dollars, well eight ninety nine from Ross, and I absolutely love it. And y'all get into this skirt, baby. Get into this skirt, y'all. Look at this skirt. I got this skirt for $7 from Shein and I love it because it got those Shakira, Shakira, it got them, it got them shingles on the side, baby. I absolutely love this. All right, y'all. So this is the next piece, guys. I purchased this top from Ross. This is a faux leather corseted top. I purchased this for $9, girl, and it is so cute. I love it. Let me show y'all the back. It's so cute. The only thing is like, girl, y'all, my boobs, they have like a mind of their own. And it's just kind of one of those things like, I tried this on when I first purchased it and it fit my boobs perfectly. And it seemed like now today, girl, these things, I don't know. It's like, they are huge. And I hate that. Let me see. It's like they they just today, they just doing what they want to do. My boobs are not normally this puffy. Maybe I ate too much salt. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, this is the top. And then let me show y'all the pants. So hopefully y'all can see them. So y'all, these are the pants that I purchased. Guys, these are workout pants and they fit so cute. But I absolutely love the pants with this top. I love the color scheme. Guys, these pants were $12.99. Um, and uh, yeah, I did purchase these from Ross. They don't go all the way down. I wish that they did, but that's okay. Um, this is gonna be a cute little date night look or maybe even like a cute little, you know, weekend look or whatever. Cause I was gonna rock this with some really cute heels and a really cute purse or whatever. So yeah, girl. And then let me show y'all the back. I absolutely love these. They are so cute. I wish that they would have, I got them in a small. I wish that they would have had a medium. But yeah, girl, so this is just a cute little, cheap little outfit that I got from Ross and I love it. Yes, y'all, so guys, this is the next outfit, y'all. This outfit was from, she it is from Shein. Y'all, I purchased this outfit to wear when I went on a trip a while back, but I didn't get a chance to wear this. So y'all, it's literally just been folded up in my suitcase. And I was like, you know what? Let me pull this out because I never had a chance to wear it. So hopefully I'll have somewhere to wear it too soon. But anyway, girl, it's this really cute two piece um, set. I think I paid like seven or $11 for this. So it's this really cute two piece set. So this is the top. 
And it just ties up in the back. Hold on. It just ties up in the back. Yo, so y'all, the skirt is super long. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. I think you can see it in the mirror. Uh, so the skirt is super, super long. I even folded the waistband up, girl. So all of my tall girls out there, guys, this is tall girl friendly. But I would like to maybe try to like adjust it up a little bit. I may have to go get it, uh, get some alterations done on it. Let's see if we can just fold the waistband down a little bit, girl. Hold on. Yeah, that okay, that's a little bit better. And maybe we can just make the waistband look a little bit. Okay, yeah. So all of the all of the shorties out there, all of my little petite girls that's um I'm five three. I don't really consider myself petite, but all of the petite girls that are like under five three, y'all might if y'all get something like this girl, y'all gonna have to do this little trick right here. And so something like that to kind of yeah, that looks a little bit better to so kind of adjust it. So that adjusted it uh, down a little bit. But for the most part, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I love this. And y'all, y'all know I love wearing uh, shapewear under seven. Now, guys, I don't have any shapewear on under this, but I would wear it under here. I will when I wear this. Trust and believe me, sis. I'm going to have on some shapewear because we want to just smooth everything out. But I would just have to play with this a little bit more. But yeah, girl, so y'all, I just absolutely love this. I love how thick it is. I think it's so cute. But yeah, we'll, I'll play with this a little bit more. And if I can't get the waistband and stuff right, girl, I'm just going to take it down to, the, down to the seamstress and have her cut about three inches off the bottom. And then that's just going to be that. Yes, girl, I absolutely love this. All right, y'all, so this is the last and final outfit. And girl, I need to hurry up and wear this because y'all, it's about to get super hot in Houston, but I still have a little bit of time to wear it. So I absolutely love this. Girl, it's this hound's tooth fabric. It is so cute. So the top is cropped. And then we got the pants. I'm going to show you guys the pants in a minute. But I got this from Shein. And I want to say I paid $16 for it. And then I got like an extra 60%. I'm sorry, 20% off. So I love this. Let me turn around and show y'all the top. And then the bottom. So the pants are really cute. They're crop. I honestly wanted to wear some boots with this. I have my really long, cute. Hold on. Y'all, I have these cute boots that I wanted to wear with this. But girl, I don't know. I don't. Now, I got a lot of time, a little bit of time to wear this. But I don't think, I think it's too late for the boots. Because baby, it's, it's, it's a little hot outside. But anyway, so y'all, I just have these. So the pants are crop, like I was saying. Um. So I wish, honestly, guys, I wish that they did come all the way down to my ankles, but that's okay. They don't. Um, let me see if I can position y'all to kind of see the mirror view a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, so the pants, they fit a little higher in the front and then lower in the back. I don't like that because, girl, you can see my, my lipo scar. I hate that. Y'all, I hate these nerd these BBL scars, but you can see my lipo scar or whatever. I hate that. And anyway, so yeah, um, and then I just have them on with these. I will, probably wouldn't wear this outfit with these shoes, but I just needed something to like put it put on with the outfit just to kind of show it a little bit. So it's just these clear heels. I don't think I would wear these. I would have to find something else. But yeah, girl, so I absolutely love this outfit. Um. I don't know. I wish I, I I wish my stomach was looking a little bit <laughs> a little bit flatter in this, but that's okay, girl. So yeah, y'all, this is gonna be the last of our little try on, our little she in little Ross try on haul. So guys, tell me which outfit was your favorite. Guys, we're about to head out to uh, Dara Cherie TV. The Dara Cherie TV. She's having a birthday party at Nobu. So we're headed out. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. And then y'all know how this thing go. We're going to talk when I get in the car. All right, girl. So y'all, I am wearing these gorgeous. Um, so guys, I'm wearing these really cute 
uh, camel color leather pants and I paired it with this really cute camel color, color leather top. I have on a pair, y'all know the infamous clear shoes. Y'all know these are my favorite shoes, girl. And so yeah, I have that on. I'ma zoom in a little bit. So yeah, girl, something super cute, super clean, super uh, simple and classy. So yeah, this is what our look for the night is gonna be. Guys, let me grab my bag and then um, we're gonna head out and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hey, so y'all, I'm back. I had to get, y'all already know, I don't even know I have to plug this every time. McDonald's, if you are watching this content, please sponsor me. Please let me be your official spokeswoman for the infamous frozen Coke. Guys, I'm speaking into, into existence. We're gonna have a sponsorship and a brand deal with McDonald's for the infamous frozen Coke. But anyway, y'all, so yes, girl, we are on our way to um, Nobu. So she's having a birthday celebration at Nobu, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. So I love a, a, a nice little intimate celebration, girl. But anyway, this is my question. So y'all already know what time it is. We about to have a Rock's Random Thoughts. Rock's Random Thoughts. Cue the music, Rock. But anyway, so y'all, this is what I want to know. But this is more or less to my bum shames. This is more or less to the guys who watch the content. And, and ladies, if you guys want to come in below, y'all can too. But, but my question is this. Men, fellas, you're welcome. Why is he? Why come when you guys are out somewhere and you like if you in a crowded environment or something like that? Why do you have the knee? Cause this, I don't like this. Why do you have to like rub all, rub yo, yo, yo meat and stuff all against? A... <laughs> Why can't you just say excuse me? Why you gotta be tapping people on their butt and doing all of that and walking all rubbing all against them and stuff? Just, just say excuse me. Excuse me, love. It's not like baby. If it's a guy, I'm pretty sure you're not doing all of that to say excuse me to a guy. So why can't the uh why can't the 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 you say excuse me without rubbing your lower half all over on a woman? You understand what I'm saying? Like you you grabbing on her hips, like rubbing all against her booty and stuff. Just sir, just say excuse me. Say excuse me the same way to me that you would to a man. I will never, ever, ever understand that. But guys, this is a random thought. That's just something I was thinking about because I'm always, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy how I can be on a platform. I could be like thinking about something and then like I'll be on TikTok and I would lit literally would have had a thought and then TikTok will, will basically bring up a video of something that kind of corresponds with that thought. Baby, I don't know what these people in front of me doing, but um, I'm gonna need them to drive the right way. But anyway, girl, so yeah, I'm on TikTok and I see this clip of this boy at the club or wherever he was, said, well, he was kind of reenacting how men be doing it. And I was like, yeah, they do be doing that. And that was crazy because I was just, uh-uh. Y'all, y'all know I can't drive and then, to add to top it all, I, we got somebody in front of me who can't drive either, girl. So it's the damn blind leading the damn blind. I'm done. I'm done, baby. I am dope. I'm so done with these Houston drivers. I don't know what to do. And then, wait a minute, girl. Y'all hold on. I'm trying to get over. I'm trying to get over, baby. Okay, here, here go my turn. Oh, shit, never mind. Somebody didn't jump in front of me, and he about to jump in front of the girl. Anyway, anyway, I'm just, I guess I'm just going to be right here. But, y'all, so, yeah, just put your comments down below and tell me why come 
men can't just say excuse me without rubbing they whole lower half on you or without grabbing your hips or, or grabbing something sir you can just like tap me on my shoulder or something and be like oh excuse me you don't have to do all of the all of the extra stuff that you're doing you don't have to do that but anyway so yeah girl i'm hoping that this that this outfit this this leather top will stay on girl because it's looking like oh y'all it's looking like it, it's wanting to play games tonight but it, oh my gosh i hope this lady y'all she running for the bus i hope she make it metro do not leave this lady do not leave her because baby ain't nothing worse than running for the bus and they leave you girl that is the freaking worst i don't know if that's ever happened to y'all but it's absolutely happened to me you know what? I'm gonna go head on and just get from from behind the bus. Anyway, cuz uh, you know. Yes, Metro baby! Get behind me, Satan! Mm-hmm. Hold on, y'all. I completely forgot about the GPS. Let me turn this thing up. Girl, the whole girl, y'all, the GPS girl, she's sick of me because she didn't tell me to go. Uh uh, we ain't doing that. We're not doing, yeah, that's what we, we about to do. Because, baby, let me tell you, I think I told y'all that already. We're not getting on the West Park toll today. I, I'm not paying West Park toll no $5. Not today, I'm not. Let me concentrate for right now, and the next time you guys see me, we're gonna be with the fabulous Dara Cherie TV. And I'll see, so I'll see you guys in a minute.
want you drop that thing down to the flow. I'm here for one night and half a where you go. I wanna see ya. Nobu is about to turn into a uh, Nobu. I'm not gonna say I won't go back, but if I do, I'll probably just eat at the bar or something like that because it was just, it just wasn't the best service. But overall, as far as the company, I had a blast, y'all. I had so much fun with Dara and them. Girl, we had a good time. So we got there at 6.30, girl, y'all. Baby, why is it 11.40 right now? So yeah, girl, we had a good time or whatever, laughing and talking and stuff or whatever. So now, I am on my way home. Excuse me, I'm on my way home. I am sleepy. All right, y'all. Y'all, why did I just come home and my neighbor had company? Some girl. Y'all, why in the fuck? Y'all. I got to fucking move y'all why was i trying to hurry up so i heard i heard the girl like saying okay i'm about to go or whatever and so anyway uh i was trying to hurry up and get in my apartment because I, I don't know i just don't be wanting to see my neighbor like that why did a girl come out of the apartment and she seen me y'all I, I could not get that damn key in the door fast enough she see me and she's like you fine as hell you cute oh you cute oh you fine as hell like that or whatever and then uh my neighbor spoke to me he was like you know hey how you doing i was like i'm fine and he she's like damn she fine did she and it y'all this was a girl this was a girl yeah i cannot make this shit up this was a girl so why she tell me, damn, damn, you fine. And gonna ask my neighbor, tell me, did you see that ass on her? Did you see that ass on her? And I was just like, what the fuck? I'm just like, girl, y'all, these people crazy. <laughs> they crazy as, as I don't know what. But anyway, so y'all, I'm just making it home. Let me tell y'all. Hold on, I can't get these earrings out of my darn ear. I mean, I can get them out, but it's the earring backs. It's the earring backs for me. Y'all, y'all need to order some of these silicone earring backs from um from Amazon, baby. Y'all, these silicone earring backs do not move. Yeah, girl, you put these mugs on and these earrings ain't going nowhere. We get to Nobu and um initially, you know, the the the, the initial service was good i'm trying to make sure i'm not flashing y'all the initial service was good or whatever so then we get this waiter and the waiter is like the light skin uh kc from kc and jojo and so anyway initially he cool or whatever everything is going good and then i don't know at some point the vibe changed y'all when i tell y'all he never came back to check on us he never came back to see if we needed water on top of that, girl, why do Nobu charge a $5 pastry fee? The $5 per person pastry fee is for them to cut the food or cut the cake if you bring a cake from the outside. So that's number one. Number two, he just completely started neglecting the table, girl. So I look over, he's he's smiling and, and shucking and jiving for a table that was across from us or whatever. But when he come to our table, he all flat and stuff. Girl, I was just like, his, his delivery just yes no yes but then when he all right y'all the battery died um but anyway so y'all well he had our like i was selling y'all the boy he had our table he talking off flat yes no all right but then you he get over to the other table with the other folks and he like yells and balls tap dancing and kid a step and fetch it girl i mean this food and did everything i mean literally everything and it, i'm like in terms of like it put on an act for the other for the other people yells and balls yells up yells up. I'll, eyes will go eyes go over there and get that eyes go <laughs> Y'all, but that's pretty much how he was acting or whatever when he was, he dancing and shit, you know, or whatever. And so that's how he doing when he over there with the, with the other people, when he go to their table. 
And then again, he come back to our table. Yes, no, yes. Then he run back to the other table and this fool tap dancing and you know, just just shucking and a jiving and a jiving and a shucking. Yells them balls, yells them so, yes, so, yeah. I'll, I'll go get you some water balls, yells so. I mean, that whole act. And, and it was just like, dude, like, really? So then, when he finally, when they came out with the cake, girl, y'all, they cut us a sliver of cake. So they cut us a sliver of cake. And I'm like, well, do we have to pay another $5 fee for another slice of the cake that we brought into the facility or Dara brought her own cake into the into the place or whatever? So, girl, that was a trip or whatever. It took him forever to go get, like, uh, the girl, V, v asked for some more water. It took him forever to go get some more water. And then, um, on top of all of that, y'all, so we end up seeing Jordan Woods and her boo. I can't remember... His uh, something towns. I don't y'all. I don't remember the boy name. But anyway, they were in the restaurant, and so and that was cool. I didn't really recognize Jordan Woods because uh, she's she always looks so glamorous and beautiful and stuff on her Instagram. And I'm not really used to seeing her dressed down and you know more casual clothing. So she had on more casual clothing, but I did notice the guy. But I just couldn't exactly put my my finger on who he was immediately. And so I finally was like, oh, I think that's Jordan Woods. Because then we saw some people asking to take a picture of her. But anyway, girl, when she goes to the bathroom or whatever, girl, why did the hostess of the restaurant come and block the bathroom, stand at the bathroom? You know, like she was Mr. T or somebody, girl. She comes standing in front of the bathroom and going to cross her arms, y'all. She crossing her arms and stuff like... Oh, I dare you to come in here. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. So basically, she blocked the. She stood in front of the bathroom, so could nobody go into either one of the bathrooms or whatever. So, Gary, it was a trip. I was like, y'all doing the most. Because we're not even worried about. We didn't even know that that was Jordan Woods. And you know what I'm saying? Until it was really time for them to leave because we knew that they were somebody. I just couldn't meet. At first, I thought it was. Uh, Ben Simmons, I don't know if you guys know Ben Simmons, but that's who I thought it was. And then I was like, no, nah, I think that because when we seen, you know, some girls asking to take a picture with her, we was like, oh, okay, that must, and then I was like, that must be Jordan Woods. So we figured it out ultimately. But girl, yeah, but overall, it was a cool little night. But y'all, if guys, Nobu have a fire, baby, Nobu, but Nobu has a good happy hour, and their happy hour lasts until seven o'clock. So if y'all want to go to Nobu and have the experience without having the the experience we had with the waiter, guys, just go up there and go to the bar. They have a really affordable um, happy hour or whatever. So yeah, overall, it was a really fun night.